I'm not afraid of Hello friends, this is Harsh Trivedi from Ticketarian and today I will be showing you how to create long shadow text in Adobe Photoshop. No matter what version you are using, this method will work in each of them because we will be using very basic tools. So without much ado, let's get started. First of all, create a new document by going to File and then New. A pop-up will appear. You can choose the image size and the resolution here. So I will be creating a HD image. So width for that is 1920 pixels and height will be as 1080 pixels. You can leave the resolution as default but I will be changing it to 300 pixels per inch. You can choose a color mode. I prefer RGB 16 bit or CMYK 16 bit. Choose background contents as per your wish. I will be choosing white. Now click on OK. So here is our canvas ready. So as you can see in our first document, I have created a radial gradient background. So as to make this, simply select the gradient tool and make sure you have selected the radial option here. So now choose two different colors. Or I can say choose two different shades of same color. So I'll be choosing a dark blue color and a light blue color. Now unzoom the document a bit and from the rough center drag the cursor outwards. So firstly I'll be dragging the cursor outwards the image boundary. So let us see the gradient but that doesn't seem to be nice. Let me try inwards. Yeah, so here's our gradient, and that looks pretty decent. Let us create the text over the background, but let me firstly change the text color to white. You can choose any different color. As per your wish, I am writing my channel name. So here's my channel name. So now we'll click on the stick and drag the text layer to the center of the canvas. But that's not the exact center, so we'll rasterize the text layer by right clicking on it and rasterize type. Now we'll recenter the text layer because the axis has been shifted. Now here comes the tricky part. What we have done in the first document is that we have created a text layer and we have created a shape layer above that Then we have just cropped the area of the shadow and we have interchanged the sequence of the text layer and the shape layer. So now simply create a shape layer by going to the rectangle tool and make sure you have selected black color as your main color because black is the only color which will give the feel of shadow after decreasing its opacity. So here is the shape. Now you can simply free transform it by pressing Ctrl T on the keyboard and choose the angle as minus 45 degrees if you want the light coming from top left to the bottom right corner feel unzoom a bit and squeeze this layer outwards the image frame click on yes and rasterize it now interchange the text layer and the shape layer simply by dragging the shape layer below the text layer so now grab the polygon lasso tool and zoom in a bit now from the very top corner of the last letter of the text layer, activate the polygon lasso tool by left clicking on it. And now by pressing shift key, go diagonally downwards and try to go out of the frame. Now go to the very bottom of the first letter of the text layer and try to think imaginative that if the light was coming from the top left corner to the bottom right corner, how would be the shadow? 
and you have to reach each of the corner of the text layer because each of the corners will be producing some shadow and not only the corners the whole text will be producing some shadow so try to think imaginative that how would the shadow be coming if the light was coming from the top left corner to the bottom right corner try to focus on each corner because each of them are important and when there is a text which has some curve like c o p r s etc try to go tangentially and that will work and if you don't know what a tangent is then simply google it so here is our selection now we can simply press the delete key on the keyboard to delete the selected part and the remaining part would be our shadow so here is our shadow as you can see but to make it look more realistic we'll simply decrease its opacity and here is our long shadow text ready so that's it for this video friends merry christmas to all of you and don't forget to subscribe techitarian